various constraints which are available in the sketching interface of Rio. First, I have drawn these two lines here. And uh, the first constraint I'm going to explain is the vertical constraint. Click on the vertical constraint here and select this line. And my line is constrained in a vertical direction with a vertical constraint on it. And the next constraint is the horizontal constraint. Click on the horizontal constraint and select this line. And now my line is in the horizontal direction with a horizontal constraint on it. And uh, I'm going to undo this. And uh, now I'm going to use the perpendicular constraint. I want the, both the lines to be perpendicular to each other. Click on the perpendicular constraint and select my first line here and my second line. And uh, both of them are perpendicular to each other with a perpendicular constraint on it. Let me undo this again. And now I'm going to explain the parallel constraint. Click on the parallel constraint and select my first line and my second line. And now both of my lines are parallel to each other. Let me undo this once again. And uh, now I'm going to explain the midpoint constraint. So I want this point of my line to be at the midpoint of my first line. So to explain this, I'm going to click on the midpoint constraint and select the endpoint of my second line. I click on my first line and you may see that my endpoint of my line is at the midpoint of the first line. So, uh, and now I, I want uh, these uh, two lines to be at the same line of action. So what I do is click on the coincident constraint and click on the first line and second line. And you may see that by both of my lines are at the same line of action. And uh, let me delete it. And uh, to explain the tangency command, I'm going to draw the two circles here. My first circle and uh, my second circle with a bigger diameter. And uh, now click on the tangent constraint and select two circles. And uh, now you, you may see that both of the circles are tangent to each other. With a tangent constraint displaying on it. And I'm going to draw a line tangent command. Click on the line tangent and select this end to this end. And uh, you may notice that this line tangent has two endpoints, which both are endpoints has the tangency constraint on it. And the next constraint I'm going to explain is the equal constraint. Click on the equal constraint and select my first circle and second circle. And now you see that both my circles have the same diameter in it. And uh, I'm going to delete this and I have a sketch here in which I need this center line should divide my line into two equal halves. Again, I want my center line to divide this line into a two equal halves. So what I use is the symmetry constraint. Click on the symmetry constraint select the first endpoint of my line and the second endpoint of my line and click on this center line and now my center line divides my line into two equal sections so this is the use of symmetry command